If you're in the Coonawarra, you've probably got the big cellar doors on your must-visit list. Well, today I have found a new little gem that is offering something just that little bit different. Housed inside the historic Glenroy Shearing Shed, you'll find Bellwether Wines. Sue Bell has been producing wine here for the past few years, but has just recently opened her cellar door to the public. Bellwether is a term originally given to a bell-wearing male sheep for the purpose of leading the flock, and it's a fitting name for what Sue's doing here with her business, moving away from the commercial mobs with her innovative thinking. The idea was that to keep it small and that people could come and have a look at what was happening, you know, and the fact that they'd be served by me or whoever I was working with, so it's very production focused. This year is my biggest year and it'll be just over 2,000 cases, so, you know, I'm um, the smallest winery by far in Coonawarra. Sue welcomes visitors into the old Glenroy shearing shed for tastings and I love how she's retained many of the building's original features. It was actually built by Chinese migrants on their way to the goldfields back in 1868. Under the boutique bellwether label you'll find Tasmanian Chardonnay and Riesling, a Rattenbully Shiraz Malbec, a Tempranillo and of course the local classic. So what are people saying about your wines? Oh, the people buy them, drink them, and yeah. I don't enter many wine shows, but when I do, I've got some gold medals and things yeah. and trophies, so that's nice. Sue's actually being very modest there because I discovered that her peers recently named her Australian Winemaker of the Year in recognition of her enthusiasm, community involvement, advocacy of women in wine, and a commitment to trialling new grape varieties. It's a really close-knit community, you know, in starting my business I've had support from the Redmond family, the brands, you know, the guys at Bowknaves, Magella, everyone, you know, has pitched in at times and helped me when, you know, I've needed to borrow something. Now, I've heard of wineries days before, but winery camping? Well, you can here because you'll find powered sites dotted amongst the gorgeous limestone coast gum trees, plus a very swish amenities block. Another thing I liked was that the campers are invited to use fresh produce from the Bellwether Garden for their cooking. How is this for a bath with a view? You certainly won't be roughing it here, glamping for sure. Just because you're camping amongst, you know, beautiful old gum trees and, you know, Coonawarra gets pretty cold nights so you need a nice big fireplace. Doesn't mean you can't go and have a hot shower and a hot bath and being an old cheering shed I've tried to keep it in with how the, the building looks and I've used old basins and things like that in it so it's, I call it posh dunnies. Who's the knitter Sue? These works are amazing. Oh this is Trevor Smith. He's actually done a series of tea cosies that have been crocheted on the history of Panola Kunawara including people, buildings, produce. It's quite stunning. Sue also offers a variety of hosted dinners, lunches and cooking classes throughout the year. So make sure you check their website and Facebook page for all the details. So why not dust off the tent and plan a stay? I just love the vintage vibe Sue's got going on in this charming place. It sets the perfect scene for kicking back in front of a roaring fire with a glass in hand.